Hi guys, and welcome to another rant about one of the big three. Now, I already tore Microsoft a new asshole on a few days ago, maybe a week ago, I'm not really sure. But anyway, now it's time to talk about Nintendo. So, in my humble opinion, the Wii is not a piece of shit like a lot of people say it is. Because the Wii actually does have good games on it. You've got Metro Prime 3 Corruption. You've got the Super Mario Galaxy games. You've got Kirby's Epic Yarn. You've got Zelda Twilight Princess. You've got Donkey Kong Country Returns. Red Steel 2. And that that's the difference between Move, Connect, and the Wii. The Wii actually does have good games. And these aren't just good. These are easily some of the best games that have come out um, this whole generation. Anyone who denies that is just a fucking idiot who's using the anti-Nintendo stereotype post-2006. But the problem with Nintendo, this whole generation has been, they've been making money solely on the console. Sure, they've released plenty of good first-party content. However, their problem is that they don't release enough good first-party content enough. I will look at Sony as an example. Uh, the first few years of the PlayStation 3 were slow. Then from 2009 to now, they consistently have at least three to six games or exclusives just for the PlayStation 3 every year. Just this year, we're getting... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, this year's a little drier than last year. Last year, they had like seven or eight games. Um... Oh my god, I can't believe we're trying to blink. I'll come back to that once I remember the games that are coming out on PlayStation 3. But the point is, Nintendo is going to have a lot of problems with the Wii U. They are the last company, possibly in the whole world, that is connected to gaming that hasn't jumped on the HD console era. And games have evolved past Nintendo now. In fact, this is a problem a lot of Japanese devs have. They stick to the old, they stick to the outdated because they're too afraid to do anything new, anything risky. Uh, in fact, they make companies like Activision or EA look revolutionary sometimes. I mean, they are completely stuck in the late 90s or the early 2000s and they refuse to move on from that period and do something new and something risky. This is the reason why Japan has become the laughingstock of video games, at least in my opinion. They used to be the kings. When a game came out in Japan, it was called the best game ever. It sold great there, it sold great here and in America. But now Japanese game, game devs are gone, and this is a problem Nintendo is facing. First of all, with the Wii U, we don't know anything about it. We don't know the launch lineup, we don't know the release date, and this thing is supposed to come out in late November. Nintendo, as, as famous as they are in video games, they are not Apple. They can't just announce the iPhone 5 on October 5th, and then sell it a day later, it's going to sell 30 billion units or something. Nintendo can't do that. It, they couldn't even do that in their prime let alone now when their reputation's been slowly damaged in video games. Um, and then there are the rumors of production issues. First of all, this new controller, it does seem like a cool idea. However, I think this thing is going to be pretty expensive. I don't think the console will be as expensive, but I do think it's going... The, con the controller itself is going to be expensive, and even Nintendo themselves said that they created the Ninten the Wii U Pro Controller, which is basically just the Xbox 360 controller for the Wii U, so that game devs uh, sorry, uh, could easily program video games on it. And I, uh, I, I, don't, I think it's a good idea to actually include something like that, but unless this controller is bundled in with the console itself, I honestly doubt that any and that any regular consumer is gonna pick is gonna know that there is a pro controller or anything without doing some research first. So there that is. And since there are rumored production issues on the current on the on the standard controller, there are production issues that it is hard to produce. And I think this could be the thing with the Wii, where the 
where companies like Ubisoft, they just throw out any shit on the Wii. It makes a crap load of money, and they don't use anything. Now, Zombie U, the new zombie game, looks like it actually uses the functionality of the Wii U. But I ask you now, how many devs do you think are actually going to go out of their way and program unique shit for every game that they release? May the first party content definitely will be. However, past making your inventory visible on the screen of the controller or some rudimentary motion control similar to the Vita, I honestly doubt they will try anything really groundbreaking to take full advantage of the possibilities of the new controller, just like they did with the Wii. They simply... I mean, it took them... Um, it, it took, besides Nintendo, it took devs at least five years to finally program games on the Wii that function perfectly. And I don't see uh, any new gamer jumping onto this thing and then waiting five years for finally a good third-party game to actually function on the Wii. Now, it could be a little easier since this thing is in motion controls, but that still remains to be seen. Also, the thing that bugs me about this thing... Also, the thing that bugs me about this thing is the fact that... <coughs> I will tell you a little history on the Dreamcast. That was the last Sega console. It came out in 1999. It sold great. It got very great, very good games. And then the PlayStation 2 came out, and it destroyed it. Why? Because it had the DVD player. This thing is already running on... Not, I'm not gonna say dated hardware because someone's gonna, someone's gonna crucify me for saying that, but um, you already know that the Xbox 720 and the PlayStation 4 are in production. Well, the Xbox 720 is. I don't know about the PlayStation 4 because I personally think the PlayStation 3 can last another three or four years. But but besides that, um, I think. Once this thing comes out this year, or early next year, um, I, you can bet your ass, when Microsoft announces the Xbox 720, they will destroy Nintendo, because the Xbox 720 <coughs> um, has been dated for three years. I'm sorry, fanboys, but fuck you. The Xbox 720 reached the, its hardware limit in 2009, and devs don't know what to do with it anymore. That's the problem with the Wii. Devs just don't know what the hell to do on the 360 hardware. And because everything is programmed for the 360 first, and then ported to PS3 and PC, uh, we all get the shittier version of what could have been a really outstanding game. And I think that's going to happen uh, with the Wii U, just like it did with the Wii. They release the superior console and PC versions, and then the Wii U version is just some bastardized port or something that barely resembles the original game which is actually good and another thing <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that another thing that could happen to the Wii it, actually this will happen to the Wii U because the reason the Wii was so successful is because families bought it now Nintendo is pushing some quasi we're going hardcore but we still want to make a hundred billion units sold on the last guys. And when you try to please everybody, you will please no one. And those those families that bought the Wii six years ago, they're not going to buy the Wii U. Because um, Apple has taken that, um, that share. All those kids, all those families that enjoyed those casual games... Yeah, that's they don't want to do that because you have the iPhone and that has tons and tons and tons of casual games that anybody can enjoy and even the family can enjoy. And and the, its biggest its biggest up uh, sorry, its biggest advantage over the Wii U is that it, it is portable. Now, if you're a casual gamer, let's say you've never played anything besides Fruit Ninja or Angry Birds, and then you have a choice. Buy the iPhone 5 and get dozens and dozens of casual games every day. 
and and on a device that you can carry around with you wherever you want and that has a pretty good battery life versus a big console that you have to sit down and play on true the controller can be detached from the console but it's not a separate unit it doesn't have any memory of its own you cannot take the controller out of the house use it as a handheld play the same game on it or listen to the music on it or browse the internet on it like a handheld <coughs> or or an iPhone i think if the controller was able to do that if the controller was really able to play any Wii U game on its small screen and have the iPhone an iPhone level of apps online connectivity and capabilities i think the Wii U could have been something truly revolutionary but now it's just it's just the Wii HD with a big clunky controller. Like I haven't gotten hands on time with the Wii U obviously because I haven't gone to any of the conventions and shit. I meant to go at E3 but yeah, I had some school problems but that's not the point of this video. So yeah, I think Nintendo is going to have a hard time just on the console. And then on the video games, Nintendo has never had voice acting in, in any of its games besides the it's a me, Mario. Besides s small stuff like that, they have never had uh, honest to god voice acting, and this is a problem that I had with Skyward Sword. They were like, we had a hundred and twenty minutes of epic cinematic wonder, and then it fell fell flat on its face because I've already seen cinematic wonder. I've seen. Uh, have you seen what Assassin's Creed has been doing? Skyward Sword is completely dated on the fact about Assassin's Creed because Assassin's Creed let you it lets you climb everything it lets you explore everything you have a great story you have great voice acting you have epic giant scale battles Skyward Sword tried to do, do that on the Wii and it failed and Nintendo cannot use this as an excuse I could kind of forgive the limitations of those games because the hardware was considerably outdated but I can't do that anymore. Why? Because this is an HD console. So Nintendo has to learn how to do good voice acting. It needs to learn modern game mechanics. And they have to get huge teams just to build these games. And since every company so far has mastered this, more or less, Nintendo is in a big disadvantage. They have to learn all of this shit quickly and they have to master it even faster because in this day and age it is completely inexcusable not to have voice acting in your games anymore. I'm sorry, but you just can't make games without voice acting anymore. It it just can't. Like we need a Zelda with good voice acting. We need a big sprawling epic story with interesting characters. They just can't throw a shitty story. Oh my god, the princess has been captured. Link, go save her. No, you can't do that because games like Mass Effect Dragon Age, and Assassin's Creed, and many, many others have all proven that you can do a fantastic story in video games. And Nintendo cannot just do the generic story of, um, yeah, Ganon can have the princess go save her, Mario, Link, or, well, not Samus, but that's, but you, but you know what I mean, okay? They actually have to put thought into the story, thought into the characters. And since games are becoming much better storytelling devices, you just cannot use a 20-year-old story, put a new coat of paint on it, <coughs> sorry, and call it a sprawling epic. I'm sorry, I've seen a sprawling epic. It's called Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. And then there's Dragon Age 1 and 2. And then there's Witcher 1 and 2. You cannot use the same fucking story for 30 years. That time is done. And the new and and did you know there was a new Mario game that was released? New Super Mario Brother Bros on the 3DS. It had no marketing and yet it sold like 5 million copies. This has to stop. Nintendo has to finally evolve. Even its diehard fans are getting sick of the same old Mario game over and over again. They're tired of the same old Zelda game over and over again. Metroid is dead because they handed it over to a half-assed developer that couldn't make a good game if you threaten all their employees with shotguns to the face. So yes, Nintendo is going to have a lot of problems in in the coming years if they can 
they have to adapt to the new environment. They can't play by their old rules anymore. I'm sorry, but they can't. That's how life goes. Life changes. It can get either easier or harder for you. And you have two choices. You either adapt and you will survive and thrive in this new life, or you stick to your old shit, which doesn't work anymore, and you will die. So yeah, I I personally think the big three are going to become the big two very, very soon. I don't think Nintendo is capable of growing up, evolving their company, and actually trying to change their games. Their games have consistently been the same fucking thing over and over and over again. It's painful. People say Call of Duty, or, or, or Call of Duty is the same thing. Go look at Mario. Go look at Mario, Zelda, and Metroid, and then you come back and look me in the face and tell me that COD is the most milked out thing ever. No. All three of the Nintendo series are milked out, and Nintendo cannot survive on them. They have to create an Uncharted for themselves. They have to create a Gears of War. They have to create new IPs that... They have to create new IPs but not go the Sony or Microsoft route where they completely abandon their old series just because their new ones are more popular. Make new IPs, make new series, but do not abandon the old ones. Just make less of them and actually try to change them. I'm sorry, but that has to happen or else Nintendo will die. So yeah, I know this wasn't much of an angry rant. This is more just about my thoughts on the Wii U so far and on Nintendo. But yeah, Nintendo really doesn't piss me off. I I used to believe in the stereotype that the Wii, the Wii sucks, it's a piece of shit, but you cannot deny that the Wii's had some of the best games of this generation. And if you deny that, then you're a fucking idiot. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for me, and I'm out.